What if I told you that Canada might have a pyramid older than Egypt's Great Pyramid, hidden deep in the mountains of British Columbia? In the remote wilderness of Wells Gray Provincial Park, hikers have been snapping photos of a strange mountain with sides so straight they look laser cut. Locals started calling it Pyramid Mountain, and for good reason. Curious geologists climbed up with a diamond drill to study its core, but when the drill bit hit the rock, it didn't cut through ordinary basalt. It hit something that felt like cement. Later analysis revealed this formation isn't man-made, but it isn't a normal mountain either. It's a 12,000-year-old subglacial volcano that erupted beneath a mile-thick glacier at the end of the last ice age. As lava met the melting ice, it flash-cooled, fusing with river stones, solidifying like concrete blocks, almost identical to the pyramid stones in Egypt. But here's where things get strange. Ground-penetrating radar shows layered walls stacked at perfect 52-degree angles. Nature rarely makes perfect geometry, and magnetic readings found an alignment that points almost exactly to true north, within 0.2 degrees. That level of precision exists on only one other pyramid on Earth, the Great Pyramid of Giza. Among the Similkameen nation, there's an ancient story. When the ice left, the Sky Chief stacked the first fire mountain to guide the returning sun. Their ancestors have lived here for over 5,000 years, long before the first Egyptian dynasties. Modern geology confirms Pyramid Mountain's volcanic origin, documented in studies like Mechanisms of Slope Failure on Pyramid Mountain, a subglacial volcano. But the precision, the angles, and the stories, those remain a mystery. And according to local accounts, one of the drill cores pulled up a stone with what looked like a human handprint pressed into the material before it hardened. So, was this shape carved entirely by the power of ice and fire? Or did ancient hands leave their mark on Canada's first pyramid? What do you think? <laughs>